Hi everybody, Hawk here. Check out what I found. It's an Insonic Mirage 8-bit sampler from 1986. This thing sounds awful. It sounds so lo-fi, but it sounds so lo-fi in all the right ways. And it I'm actually the proud second owner of this, I've got to say. Uh, this was purchased from somebody who bought it originally in 1986, and it comes with everything. I mean, I got the original manuals here. I've got a copy of, at the time, the Transonic Hacker, which is for Insonic users. Comes with a little cheat sheet. Came with a bunch of uh, the original sound discs here, which, and these are, these are like gold. Um, the date on here says 1986. And so I actually backed these up right away because uh, they're all working, but I knew they wouldn't continue working. So I got uh, the Chameleon Utility Disk. It gives me this very important program on here, which is the ability to back up a, a disk. So I made a bunch of backups of those disks. And I also went online and got a backup of the Mirage operating system right there. I picked this one up from eBay. This was like 10 bucks, I think, and the Utility Disk was $30. And um, so enough babbling here. Let's actually take a listen to what this sounds like. I did a demo of it where I basically multi-tracked out. I loaded a sound in. It can play two sounds, one sound on the top and one sound on the bottom. So it does a split keyboard. Um, but I went ahead and multi-tracked out each one of those parts. I started with the drums, then added a bass line and came up with a little something. But before we can actually play it, we've got to uh, load one of these floppy disks in. So uh, let's do that. So once I've got the floppy disk loaded into the floppy disk slot down here, then I choose which I want the upper or lower to load the upper or lower banks. I usually want to load both the upper and lower banks. So uh, there's the upper bank, and I press the other one, and then lo load all, LA for load all, or load upper for LU, or load lower for LL, or load all. And then I choose of the three programs that exist on a disc, one, two, or three. This is the third disc. I want to play the cellos and violins, and then L3, and then I hit enter. And then we wait. And now I can play it. So let's roll that song and play along. One last thing. Everything was done on the Insonic Mirage, except the guitar. I couldn't help myself. I just had to throw a little bit of guitar in there. Everything else was done entirely on the Insonic Mirage. Multi-tracked, again, one track at a time. And then uh, I mixed it just for that extra sheen, you know. Check it out. 